Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. You know, over the years, Adobe has done a great job at improving Lightroom Classic. With that said, there are some things that I wish Adobe would change about Lightroom Classic or add to Lightroom Classic. In today's video, I want to talk about five of those things. In the comments below, let me know if you agree or disagree with the five things I'm going to talk about in this video. And also let me know if there's anything you'd like to see Adobe do with Lightroom Classic. So we're gonna start out with number one, and this is a minor thing. This is something I'd like to see them change about Lightroom Classic. It has to do with the healing tools. If I go to the healing tools, you'll see there's three tools here. We have the content aware remove tool. We have the heal brush we have the clone brush. They all operate in the same way in that when you're using them. For example, I have a stray hair on her face. I want to get rid of it. I'll use the content aware remove tool. When you use any, through, any of these three tools and you start to paint, you get this kind of outline of where you're painting. That is rather difficult to see in some instances. What I would like to see them do is get rid of that outline and instead put a red overlay like most other applications have when you're doing a heal or a clone operation in those applications. You get, just like you're painting with a red brush, it's much easier to see where you're painting. So that's just a little change I'd like to see them do. Now it is the same way with the other tool two brushes as well. If I go to the heel brush and go over here, you get this kind of white kind of like overlay or circle around where you're painting. Same thing with the clone brush. If you go there, you get this kind of like circle of where you're painting. So I'd like to see them just replace that with a red overlay. Minor, but I think it would just help me go faster because I could better see where I'm painting. All right, number two has to do with masking. You probably know that they've done a lot of great stuff with masking over the past maybe year and a half. Most recently, they reorganized the masking tools. They're better organized. We could easier, we could find what we need to do a lot easier now because they're better organized. But not all of the global adjustments are available in masking. For example, Tone Curve isn't available in Masking. Now it is in Adobe Camera Raw, but it isn't in Lightroom Classic. Um, I expect the Tone Curve to be added to Masking in Adobe uh, Lightroom Classic in the near future. But what about the HSL color panel? Color grading? How about calibration? All of those could be added as is to Masking as well, and it would really make Masking that much more powerful. Now, in masking, in the detail section, you do have a sharpness slider, and you do have a noise slider. That's for sharpening and noise reduction. But in the actual global adjustments for detail, you have a lot more control here. You have radius and detail sliders, and you have luminance and color noise reduction. I'd like to see more of these tools added to masking as well, so you add some additional noise reduction and sharpening adjustments to masking. So that is number two, what I'd like to see them do with masking. Now, something else. If we go to an image, uh, we now could go to masking and we could select the sky. That's great. So you could adjust the sky. But what about replacing the sky? I mean, as it is now, if you subscribe to the Adobe package, see the sky is kind of a boring sky. I'd have to take this over to Photoshop and replace the sky there. And with Photoshop, I can't even do anything with the reflection. So if I want to really do something with the reflection, I'd have to use Luminar AI or Luminar Neo or On One Photo Raw uh, 2022 or On One Photo Raw 2023 to replace the sky and the reflection as well. Well, why can't you just add that functionality to Lightroom Classic? Allow us to replace the sky in Lightroom so we don't have to jump over to another application to get that done. So that's number three. Now, I talked about this noise reduction as far as masking was concerned. I'd like to see these adjustments added to masking. But for number four, I'd like to see them improve their noise reduction because, quite frankly, the noise reduction in Lightroom isn't that great. Um, 
You can see this image here, a ton of noise. The color noise reduction works pretty good. But luminance noise reduction, it really is just kind of a blur. Like, it's just blur. It doesn't, it's not really that advanced AI noise reduction that we've come to know and love with other applications. There's so many out there now that do it. Why can't they add that functionality to Lightroom Classic? So more advanced noise reduction and sharpening as well. The sharpening, I mean, it, it sharpens the edges. Well, what if you, you know, accidentally use too slow of a shutter speed and you have some motion blur that you want to get rid of and or uh, just, you know, you just didn't focus quite right and it's just blurry because you didn't focus quite right. There's applications available now that correct that. I'm sure Adobe, with all their wealth and resources, could add that functionality to Lightroom Classic as well. So I'd like to see the entire detail panel basically revamped and improved so that you could better remove noise and better sharpen an image. So that's number four. And number five, the final thing I'd like to see them change or add to Lightroom Classic has to do with the way the catalog works. Uh, as it is now, if I want to edit new images, right, I would bring up the uh, import dialog. And when you bring up the import dialog, you're going to be adding images to the existing catalog. So you're always adding images to the new catalog. But there are times, for example, uh, that I might have a job. Maybe I did an engagement shoot. I don't really need those engagement images in my personal Lightroom catalog. I just need to get them into Lightroom, edit them, and get them to the customer. Well, Capture One has something called sessions. So Capture One has a catalog, and you could import images into the Capture One catalog. But also, they have the option for you to create a Capture One session. And with a Capture One session, it's what it kind of implies is you're just creating the single session to edit a group of images and they're not going to get uh, added to the main Capture One catalog. They're just going to be in their own little world for you to edit and then export and get to your customer. So that's what I would like to see Adobe do with Lightroom Classic as well. Have the option so that you don't have to import every single image you need to edit into Lightroom but you can instead have a group of images that you could just edit on their own without having them added to Lightroom's catalog. So that's number five. So that's my five things that I'd like to see Adobe change about Lightroom or add to Lightroom. Let me know what you think about those and let me know what you would like Adobe to add or change about Lightroom Classic if that made any sense. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.